Hello, my friends, and welcome to CMC TV Talent with John Santos. This is the show that showcases the great talent we have in this country. Today, I'm going to introduce you to an old friend. No, he has not competed in the Long and McQuaid Saying Contest. He has been a judge many, many times. He was born in the Azores, Portugal, and immigrated to Montreal when he was 13 years old. He started singing at a very young age, and at 14, he released his first album in Portuguese. At 18, he founded the most popular band of all the Portuguese communities across Canada in the 80s and 90s. He performed in some of the most prestigious theaters in Portugal, Italy, France, Germany, and Austria. He has recorded a series of successful albums that made him one of the most sought after Portuguese artists in North America. Now, he's writing and recording at the CJS studios with Anthony Wright. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Eric Cipriano to the show. Eric, how are you, my friend? I am very good. First of all, it's a pleasure to be here with you. And um, thank you for inviting me and having me over. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Now, tell our audience, how long have we known each other? I believe we know each other since November 1986. We met in Montreal at the Solmar. It's been so a long time. In yes. old Montreal, that's right. Mm. How did, uh, how is working with Anthony, first of all, going? Well, first of all, it's, it's, it's been a pleasure to, to start with. He's a great musician, very, very talented person. And uh, all I can say, it's like, it's amazing working with him. Eric, let's start in the beginning. Uh, how long have you been singing? I started in 1978 back in San Miguel in the Azores, Portugal, uh, on a very famous show that used to be called The Surianissimo with Vito Cruz. Uh, since then, it's been a long road. I know you performed in some of the most prestigious uh, theaters uh, all over the world, actually. And uh, tell me, uh, tell us uh, the highlight of your career. I believe for me was was in, in the 90s. I, I had a, the chance to open for the Divo Fado, Miss Amalie Rodrigues, uh, in France, in Paris. And I think this is this is one one moment that I will never forget. I will never oh, forget that moment. Amalie Rodrigues, wow, world world-class Portuguese icon yeah you were uh, the winner of the top choice awards two years in a row please tell us about that well it was it was an event that used to be to people used to vote for 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 their favorite artist and I was lucky enough and I thank 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 everybody that that voted and I was able to do it for 2007 2008 which was that, amazing yes that is an amazing award to get You've done something that's really cool. You toured with one of the biggest artists ever in Portugal, Marco Paulo. How was that experience? I think it was one of the most uh, amazing experiences that I had. I learned a lot with, with the man, especially music-wise and, and, and everything. I, I had a chance to work with him for 20 years. My band, Tulipa Negra, we backed him up for 20 years every time he was doing something in Canada or United States. So we toured with him for a while. So yeah. It was a very, very... Uh, amazing experience to work that with. That was an incredible group of guys that you had in that band. Now, um, how many albums have you recorded? I have four, uh, four albums, four CDs, but I st I, I, my first recordings were on 45s and on cassettes. Back then on the 80s, that's the only thing that was available. And I believe they're coming back slowly, but... One thing that I have that I bet you don't, and that's eight tracks. Do you remember the eight tracks? Absolutely, but I'm not that old. That's why I'm... Uh, you're calling me old? No, not at all. You're <laughs> the one that's discovering your age. <laughs> now, um, how about singing for us one of the latest songs that you've written uh, with Anthony? Absolutely. It's a Portuguese song. Uh, will you please describe uh, the lyrics? Well, the song is it's called uh, Mãe Deixa-me para casa voltar, which is Mom, let, let me come back home. It, 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 it describes, sometimes kids, they think they, they know everything about the world and they leave and they expect that the world outside is better than what you have. But a mother's love is unconditional, and that's, that's what this song is all about. This is a great song for the young generation because a lot of young kids think they can just leave without experience, and then they want to come back. Well, we all make, make mistakes, and we all deserve a second chance, too. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Mãe, deixem para casa voltar. 
Fiz a mala em sair de casa Sem para trás olhar Eu pensava que o mundo lá fora Era bem melhor Mãe, perdoa-me por todas as vezes Que eu te fiz chorar Hoje eu sei que nada é maior Do que o teu amor Sou mendigo, já não aguento este sofrimento Ando perdido e mais do que nunca preciso de ti Mãe, é profundo e sincero o meu arrependimento Tenho vergonha de todos os erros que eu cometi Deixa-me para casa voltar Sei que errei, tenho pedido a Deus Para me perdoar Não ouvi teus conselhos, segui O um mau caminho Já não tenho mais amigos e moro Na rua sozinho Fui embora, bati com a porta para não mais voltar E julgava está certo, confesso O mal que eu te fiz Mãe, eu juro, não sou mais o filho Que te fez chorar Vivo triste sozinho na rua E não sou feliz Deixa-me para casa voltar Sei que errei, tenho pedido a Deus Para me perdoar Não ouvi teus conselhos, segui Um mau caminho Já não tenho mais amigos e vivo Na rua sozinho Deixa-me para casa voltar Sei que errei e tenho pedido a Deus Para me perdoar Não ouvi teus conselhos Segui o um mau caminho Já não tenho mais amigos E moro na rua sozinho já não tenho mais amigos e moro na rua sozinho Já não tenho mais amigos e moro na rua sozinho Wow, man, you still sound the same as when we first met. Thank you. You know, there's a Portuguese saying Uh, and that is, és como vim do Porto. Quanto mais velho, melhor. Absolutely. And what I said is, you're like port wine. The older you get, the better you get. More experience. More experience. <laughs> Have you been watching the show? Yes, I did. You know what's coming up? Yes, rapid fire. Rapid <laughs> fire. Do you like it or do you hate it? Uh, I don't know. I'm just waiting for you. Let's see. <laughs> Are you ready for this? Absolutely. First song you wrote? Amar-te um prazer. Loving you, it's a pleasure. First concert you attended? Queen. Favorite international food? Pizza. First favorite taste? Favorite taste, uh, chocolate. Favorite book? Uh, Shakespeare. Favorite word? Uh, love. Your, hurtin, your hidden talent? My hidden talent, I'm a good cook. Cruise ship or camper? Camper. Your perfect day? Monday. Celebrity crush? Angelina Jolie. Your, your wife is going to love this. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Now, Enrique, this is all in fun. Um, if people want to, to follow you, what's, where can they go to check you out? Actually, it's called ReverbNation.com. And once you get into re ReverbNation.com, just look for Enrique Cipriano, and you'll have all my profile with all the songs and everything that I wrote and I recorded on the past uh, 30 years. And of course, the singingcontest.com. Eric, we could be here 
for many, many more hours uh, for the rest of the day, but unfortunately we're running out of time. Anything else that we missed? Anything else you would like to tell the audience? Anybody you want to thank? Well, first of all, I would like to thank you for the opportunity to come here, and I, I do believe what you're doing right now, um, it, it's amazing. It's giving a chance for everybody to, to show their talent, and I, I think it's something that you should keep on doing, because everybody deserves to, to shine. And what you're doing, it's something that really, really, uh, I take it to my heart, and I really appreciate what you've done. Thank you. I appreciate that, but don't thank me. I would like to thank CMC TV for giving us the opportunity to showcase the great local talent that we have. Now, uh, we're going to be closing the show with your latest, you have quite a few, but your latest musical video. Uh, again, it's in Portuguese. Would you please describe the beautiful lyrics that you put together for this video? Well, absolutely. Um, the name of the song is Deus Estás a Ver. It's God, if you're if you, if you watching. It talks about like the, 18, the, the, la, the past 18 months that we had with pandemic, uh, the wildfires in California, the famine, the war. Um, so I put everything together because it's something that really touches me. And if, if you watch and if you understand Portuguese, it's a, it's a beautiful song. And it describes everything that we're going through right now. No, it, it's definitely a beautiful song. Definitely a beautiful song. Now, uh, Eric, thank you so much for coming to the show. We're always, always here for you. It's my pleasure. Thank you very much. Please tune in to 16.10 a.m. to listen to all of the recordings from our guests. Check out the sayingcontest.com for more details. Thank you for tuning in. See you next week. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Deus Estás a Ver. Stay safe. Bye. Estás a ver o mundo a sofrer Estenda a tua mão E Deus, porque é que é assim? Será que é o fim do dia de amanhã? A calma, o tormento de quem sofre Aprenda a dor em cada coração Conforta nos teus braços Os velhinhos que tão sozinhos vivem na solidão Deus, apenas venho te pedir se é me estás a ouvir Traz de volta a salvação E Deus Não importa quem errou Quem fez mal Ou quem pecou Dá ao mundo o teu perdão E verás A tristeza, a pobreza e a dor A derrota de quem já perdeu a esperança E só no teu reino pode encontrar o amor A 
tristeza, a pobreza e a dor. A dota de quem já perdeu a esperança e só. 